Hi, this is Bob Waterman from BEST. Today we're going to be talking about the new section in the JSTANDARD 001, Revision H, Appendix D, like in David. And it has to do with x-ray inspection of through holes. So Appendix D, the overview talks about what this section, which is very small, it's only two pages, really entails. And the content is for through hole solder connections that are not visible by any other method but x-ray. So that's what uh, this particular section has to do with. There's no requirements outlined uh, for these uh, particular uh, plated hole requirements, but rather it's a compilation of guidelines for through hole connections or solder fillets. And it's noticeably silent, pointedly silent, on surface mount technology or automated inspection for SMT. Appendix D, section D 2.1, talks about the internal solder void in a solder fillet around the entire lead and plated hull. When there's no continuous flow of solder between the source and destination fillets, it is determined to be a solder void and we are referred on to section 6.2.1 uh, in the standard for further explanation. In section D2.2 in appendix D, the absence of solder inside of the solder fillet in a plated through hole, otherwise known as a void, is just that and can be seen via x-ray. On the image in front of you here, you see the couple of voids in the barrel itself. Here's other examples um, here on the left-hand side of solder that has voids in it, solder fillets with voids in it in a plated hole connection. Appendix D.3 D talks about personnel proficiency personnel are going to use this tool, i.e. an x-ray, they need to be proficient in understanding and operating the x-ray and reading the x-ray images and manipulating the x-ray such that the proper uh, calls can be made and there needs to be demonstrated proficiency. You can drive a truck through that requirement, but certainly you can come up with um, a training program and uh, you could also get it outsourced. Uh, you know, we've given classes in this on uh, demonstrated x-ray proficiency, particular to plated through hole calls. D5 talks about uh, assessing the solder fill in the plated hole. And again, it refers to 6.2 and table 6.6 .6 in the specification. And essentially, the appendix talks about voids and that they will always be there. It's kind of like death and taxes. When using x-ray for inspection of plated holes, there should be a continuous fill from the solder source side to the solder destination side. That is where the solder enters the plated hole and to where it eventually flows to. And the voids should not be added together and summed um, in terms of their volume and then subtracted from the overall fill percentage in order to get a um, void percentage. And there can be no continuous 360 degree circumferential voids. In D6, there is discussion about hole fill with design constraints. Sometimes you just can't get a good hole fill. And that can be stopped via a couple of factors. First of all, PCB thickness, internal copper layers, which increase the thermal mass, ground plane connections to various points on the plated hole. Again, both which would increase the thermal mass. Uh, hole obstructions that would present, prevent solder flow from occurring or insufficient thermal relief, um, meaning that certain parts of the board are heated to different le levels just because of the differences in thermal mass. Another design constraint can be 
um, surmise that just because of the design or because of the overall design of the board, you can't make enough process adjustments in the soldering process. So for example, slowing down the conveyor or increasing the preheat or increasing the preheat time, uh, those would not make for proper hole fill. And if you can't get to those particular requirements in terms of the proper hole fill, testing is gonna have to be required based on the end use operating environment. And for class three, that'll be a necessity. And that's a outline further in the standard. So overall, it's a good start um, to determining how x-ray can be used for plated hole calls. Uh, surface mount sure is to come, and I'm sure other criteria is to follow as users provide input. This has been Bob Wetterman from BEST discussing the new x-ray inspection and through hole requirements as outlined in J standard 001H Appendix D.